Hi guys, welcome to part two of this embellishment um, three pocket mini envelope. As you can see, I changed things. I ended up just taking the butterfly off. It was way too big and it looked ridiculous hanging, hanging out over here and then I didn't have the heart to cut it. So I took it off and I just put some flowers cascading upwards like this. These are Prima flowers. I got them at Hobby Lobby. And they came in a pack like this. There's all, there's like pink sparkles, and then there's this color of a pink, and oh, the, there's some felt ones in here. This, and like this. These kinds of flowers. And then, of course, you have. Your very glittery sparkly ones and it's, it's kind of like a I don't know what kind of material it is but it's very durable it's not a paper it's almost like a soft fabric I really don't know what it's called but um, as everyone knows Prima flowers hardly ever go on clearance I did get a few packs a while ago they had on clearance it was this pack and it was another pack that I wasn't too crazy about those and I haven't used them yet in anything but for that price I got them so I ended up just so I changed this around now I'm gonna put a little dangle here I couldn't find any teeny tiny charms at home so I'm just gonna go with this little dangle I showed you yesterday and I'm not gonna do a grommet because I'm gonna put it so close to the top here of the envelope that the grommet might be a little bit too big to fit in this area so I'm going to try it out and see how this works out and this is a puncher for a bottle cap but it works great for things like this when you don't need a big hole so I'm going to try and do it this way and see see how this looks so see there's just a tiny tiny hole and I think this jump ring is big enough and we'll see so I'm gonna put the jump ring on yeah it might not be I might need a bigger one uh, but we'll see I always try the smaller one first oh it might be okay so we'll put that we'll put this little dangle on I will close it up. And there we have a little tiny charm on the envelope. I just think that's really cute. I like how it came out. I'm going to stuff the... Uh, I'm going to put these ribbons back in there and then everything else I'm just going to package in a little bag for her and I left the cutouts right here because those fit in there and that's all I could do with this little gremlin it was just so tiny I think if I do another one of these swaps I think I'm going to do um, the three pocket envelope with the 12 by 12 paper rather than the 6 by 6 because this is just so small. I mean, it's adorable, but if you're going to put things in it for somebody, you, I mean, what can you possibly put in here? You need, you know, you need a, something with just a little bit more space. But this is cute in its own right to do for a swap, but just to like stick things in, it's going to be tough. I have, I do have tinier tags I could have used, but. I like the way I decorated these. I'm going to just, I showed you them yesterday. I'm going to keep these in the pack and give to her. I just think they're really cute. Positive sayings. And again, of course, that cute little Easter bunny and egg die. I think she will appreciate that. So, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. I finished my beach journal. It's all done. The closure is on. Grommets are on. Ribbon is on. It's good to go. The shells are dried. So uh, I will show you that tomorrow. 
and have a good day. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting. And like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.